The South has rarely, if ever, seen a tornado season this bad. The dead number in the hundreds with many more injured. A million are without power. Over six states, 165 tornadoes are thought to have touched down in 24 hours. I send my prophets forth, the warn of my judgment, I send my apostles and prophets forth, the warn before the doom comes, I warn those now, in America, through this handmaiden of mine once again, I gave her a dream. Now, urge an intercessory prayer warrior in the five states mentioned in the dream must be raised up. I told her at a time she was the most vulnerable when her ear was open and inclined to hear my words two words warn them Warn them when America is the most vulnerable. As a plane was flying low, like in the dream, that will be described below. These five states. Um, most vulnerable. If enough prayer warriors do not raise up in care, an attack will come. I'll not say how. I'll not say when. I warn to my prophets help you will listen. The people take the warnings of the government now. Since there has been so many, no longer seriously. Missouri and Arkansas and Texas and California and Nevada. If my people who are called by my name do not humble themselves, fall on their faces, and repent for the sins in this land, these five states. Will feel the wrath of Almighty God Yahweh's hand. But my children, who are in the ark, the ark is wherever I have put you to stay. As is evil, passes by. I tell you this, anoint your houses, 
Anoint your doors. For just as in the days of old, just as when the plague came, the children of Israel were safe. Those that worship other gods were not. The angel of death passed by and did not touch the child of Israel. But those that worship other gods, those that serve no god, felt the hand of Almighty God Yahweh's wrath. I am allowing this. I let my daughter be the one to warn you how few will listen you have been tested as I repeatedly said as Elijah of old tested the widow of Zorophad and others the prophets of Baal will fall I will send judgment down on those who do not take my warning seriously blame not any man for this will be allowed by the hand of the creator of the savior for you will not listen to us in any other way repent Fall on your knees and pray, that judgment does not come down on you, this very day, for hardening your heart, for deafening your ears, for blinding your eyes, your churches make me vomit. Your worship causes me to deafen my ears. You had better call on me now while I can be found. Away with your hypocrisy. Away with you scribes and Pharisees. You who know the letter of the law. But have no love within. Away from me. I do not call you my children. I call you my enemies. Faith not Yeshua would not speak like this. For I call them snakes and vipers. You inject your venomous poison within those who serve me. You try to kill them with a letter of the law. You throw out my grace and mercy. Therefore you shall have none of mine. Cradle this Elizabeth. Warn them. Those that mock you and say, Oh, you've been warning of judgment every day. Warn them, just as in the days of Noah, how few paid attention to the flood came. Just as in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. No one paid attention till it was too late. Warn them. America, you think you're flying so high. But you don't understand. For only one purpose have I protected you, America. And that is because of those who call out in my name. And pray, stay. America, give America more time. But where is the repentance, America? Where is the covering of your face in shame? For the atrocities still go on. 
solo que solo que tiene que tener una cadena. And my son's name is damned. Solo que solo que tiene que solo que tiene que tener una cadena. Solo que tiene que tener solo que tiene que tener. Wine on my daughter. Solo que tiene que tener. Do not be surprised how few will listen. Solo que tiene que tener. Do not be surprised how few will mock. Solo que tiene que tener una cadena una cadena. They see the true ministers like yours. Solo que tiene que solo que tiene. Solo que tiene que tener una cadena una cadena. Solo que tiene que tener. Like you and the other ministers. Solo que solo que tiene que solo que tiene que solo que tiene. And they see the ministries go and laugh. They feed their own faces. They care not of those who are mine. Now the time has come. And hunger shall be in their bellies. So no roof shall be over their heads. Maybe not today. But it will be when they least expect. I will deafen my ears to the cries. Those that my Sabbath day despise. Warn them, my daughter. I have used this ministry to test the mettle of the people. People, you have failed. I cause those who worship me, who serve me faithfully day by day. Who pray so much they can't count the hours in the day? To test the metal of the people. The people have been found wanting. The people have been found compassion without. So warn them, my daughter. They will mock and they will laugh. They'll say what you prophesied has not come to pass yet. They forget. Neither has the prophetic warnings and revelation. Not to the degree that you seem. When I have Mercy, they throw the mercy back in my face. When I have mercy, because the prophets say, please don't do it now. Because when I have mercy, and the people rise up and pray, then my prophets and apostles are branded false. Because I did not lose judgment that day. Warn them, my daughter. Do not be surprised how few will listen. Warn them, my daughter, so the blood will not be on your hands. Tell them the dream below, but do not un- they do not understand, for their, de- their ears are deaf. Satan fills them with wax. Their eyes are dim. Satan covers their eyes. Their mouth can only speak slander. And destruction. To those that I deem are mine. But those that are mine are sealed. Those that are mine are protected. But warn them, my daughter, so they will not say, I did not warn them, I did not send an apostle and a prophet to warn them, to repent and pray. Why does America think it's better than any nation on earth? I'll tell you this. Prayer intercessors, those who fervently pray, had better get in touch with you from these five states. For those who will be raised up from other places around the world, you know your calling, it is for a prayer intercessor, 
come forth now. Contact this apostle before it's too late. For America, you are getting ready to celebrate another birthday. Because of my mercy and love, I have showed you compassion. And I now send again an apostle. To warn them, pray once again. My judgment on America will be delayed. First responders who were here were so busy pulling the living from all of this debris, they were forced to ignore the dead. That's how bad this is. You can hear the sound of smoke detectors in the distance, but no one's here. There's the smell of death. Across town, 16 people were killed, and most of them were killed in this neighborhood. So many families, so many people whose lives were ruined. They were massive, truly massive tornadoes, nearly a mile wide, churning through homes, taking more than a dozen lives in Tuscaloosa. Another five dead here, six dead there, as the sirens sounded all across the state of Alabama and parts of Georgia. It's almost as if a bomb went off in the neighborhood. From the sky, it certainly looked like a bomb. It's uh, devastating. It's just, uh, I'm in shock. This was the view from surveillance video in Covington, Mississippi. The salvage yard didn't stand a chance. The storm forced forecasters at the National Weather Service in Huntsville to leave their building and run for cover. West of Huntsville, the Browns Ferry nuclear power plant lost power. They had to fire up generators to keep the unit safely running. Late last night, the president and Alabama's governor quickly declared this a disaster zone. We're also going to send in uh, uh, National Guard uh, troops uh, tonight and in the morning. Uh, to uh, many of the areas. At least 1,400 troops are, are going in. Today, those troops will join firefighters and volunteers to search for survivors like this young girl who was pulled from underneath a large pile of bricks. Survivors like Patty Perez. She was sandwiched in her flattened home. It took three men to pull her free. I couldn't get up. I was having to move stuff off of me. And I got up. This is what I woke up to. Shamika Robinson ran inside this gas station for cover. It was destroyed. Somehow she made it out alive. The ceiling collapsed on me. The door slammed back on me. George, they're saying that the storm that hit here, the tornado, had wind speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. 